Hey, what's up guys, I'm Gio. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Bart. I'm Tiffany. I'm Joe, and you're watching Ask the Feels. And today we have a question from Priyana. I get really horny, and I can't keep making the decision to have various one night stands because then my number's gonna get crazy. But everyone I get involved with sexually for more than a certain amount of time gets too emotionally attached and I can't deal with that. So what should I do about my sexual frustration? She is a player. Don't even worry about your number. If you're horny, just do you, girl. horn it up. You know what? You shouldn't worry about the number, but you should worry about um, STDs. But let's say she's doing it safe, then don't worry about the number. Like if you're doing it safe and you can get regular checkups maybe once a month, What's wrong with boning like 200 dudes a month? I think she's just scared of being judged by a guy that she's really into and then she reveals her true number and he's gonna be like, oh fuck, like I can't deal with that. Then that means she's dealing with some shallow ass motherfuckers. True, but then I think what she's gonna feel emotional is what she doesn't want to expose herself to. Yeah, cause I fucking lost count. I think I need to fucking <laughs> write down in a journal, name for name, and, and write down like how many in order to like how much did I do? Damn! That's awesome. Yeah. No, that's not awesome. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. I just didn't want to say that. It's, it's like this. It's like, so, you want to get this urge out and have this experience and fun, right? But you don't want any strings attached because then there's the burden of like, okay. Of a relationship. Now I got to fucking let you down. And then they're just wondering like, well, how come we can't move forward? And you're like, well. I don't want to deal with the fucking problems and the headache, you know? And then, oh, it's just so much to deal with. And I, I can feel her because I know what that's like. But also, it's like, if you don't get with a permanent sex partner and you're constantly searching, it's like a reset button. It's like you're fucking one, all right, now you're bored. Or now they catch feelings, now you got to move on because if you continue doing it, they're going to get, like, hurt, you know? You don't want to hurt anyone. So she's a she's an honorable Freak, you know? Isn't that kind of like borderline sex addict though? If yeah. it ruins her life and it ruins the lives around her, then it's a sex addict. Or else it's just a sex connoisseur. Someone with a big sexual appetite. So like I really enjoy eating, right? And I, and I, I would just consider myself a foodie. But if I'm missing work to eat now, I'm missing responsibilities to eat, then I think I would be a food addict. I don't know why people are so judgmental because it's, it's their choice. And as long as it doesn't hurt them, like why can't they? It's like, what's the difference between someone that eats 200 popsicles or <laughs> has sex with like 200 guys? I used to think that they were like these girls were dirty, like because of like social like. Now I don't give a fuck if she fucked a thousand or one. It depends if she's like diseased or not. I mean, because it also showed, at least when I used to think about it, and it, and it would, I would care. It just. It would show like an instability in a person for me. Kind of like, like how many jobs you've had? Yeah, like like you're so unstable, you can't hold on to anyone, or um, you're you're that horny, you can't control these like these areas in your life that you just have to satisfy it and not build anything with anyone. But you know the way I see it, they're real with themselves. That's how I see it. Like they're because before, like I would be, I I think when I was a lot younger, I felt that way, and I'm like, uh, what the hell, you slept with this many dudes? But then I met a lot of people that slept with a lot of dudes. And then they're still good hearted people. I see it as like someone who's really into like ballroom dancing. And then they just go with different partners. Oh, I like the way he dances. I like the way they move. They have different styles, whatever. Like the way that I view sex is very different from I think how a lot of people see it as this sacred, intimate thing that's only shared with someone who you truly love. Yeah. It, to me, it's, this, it's almost as the same thing as like two friends getting together and massaging each other. Or maybe for me it's because intimacy for me is is something that I don't openly do. That when I do do it, I'm very selective and I'm just like... I think that's most people though. Yeah. Like yeah, they see sex as very sacred. I'm not even talking, like to the point of just kissing too is not <clears throat> a big deal. But I think to me, it's like that's fine, you have your choices. Yeah. This person likes to kiss 500 people, this person likes to lick 500 buttholes. But they're all the same to me. They're all like True. they just like different. They have different preferences. But I don't, I don't put any of them in a hierarchy. I don't think it's a moral issue. I yeah, think it's not. Happens. People judge and say you're an immoral person because you like to fuck a lot, yeah. which is fucking stupid. Yeah, I agree. You want a guy in the future who won't judge you for what you've done in the like how many dicks you sucked, right? You want a guy like me that'll be like, you know what? If you're an awesome person. 
I'll fuck the shit out of you. And you fucked a hundred guys? Cool. Whatever. So I guess, um, for you then, I think just as long as you're up front with someone from the get, and you're just like, hey, you know what? Um, I definitely want to bone you, but I'm not looking for a relationship, and I fucking mean it. I don't want a relationship. Let's go and have sex, but don't ever call me again. And if they get all super clingy and they want more than that, you, you should just, you have every right to be like, yo, I told you, I don't want shit. And more power to you, girl, because that's what guys do to girls. <laughs> Now you're doing it to all the guys. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video because I did. For more submissions, go to askthefeels.com to leave your sound bites for us and we'll talk about your questions in the next video. Peace, love, unity, and sperm. <laughs>